education is said to be a strong cornerstone critical to the development of any nation, hence the need to pay utmost attention to this vital sector. In Augustet, the government of Prince Dapo Abiodu is leaving no stone unturned towards ensuring that the people of the state are better equipped to be able to compete favorably with their counterparts across the globe. Since assumption of office, the present administration has been investing hugely in the education sector to sustain its enviable position with regards to qualitative education among the Committee of States in Nigeria. Part of the giant strides of the Prince Dapo Abiodun government was the construction and rehabilitation of over 965 classrooms, supply of 25,000 furniture for both learners and teachers, supply of school bags for beginners, among others. Recently, the state government, through the Ministry of Education, Science and Technology, concluded the second phase of a training the trainers program for science, technology, engineering and mathematics STEM teachers across the state at the Aki Ogunpola Model College, Akiani in Ewe Koroloko government area. The training, which was aimed at updating and upgrading teacher skills in line with modern way of imparting knowledge, had 750 science teachers in attendance at the first phase. During the second phase, 750 STEM teachers, 20 zonal education officers and 80 education officers of the Ministry of Education, Science and Technology were trained. Speaking at the closing ceremony, the Governor of Ogun State, Prince Dakbo Abiodun, represented by his Special Advisor on Education, Science and Technology, Professor Abayomi Arigbabu, reaffirmed his administration's determination to change the face of education in the state. Education is a pivotal tool for societal development. Education provides opportunities for exposure to new ideas and concepts that we can use to appreciate and improve the world around and within us. Therefore, as educators, if we must get 24 century exposure, we have to suppress the conventional approach of teaching, especially in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, STEM, and embrace the new progressive mathematics initiative and progressive science initiative concepts. Distinguished participants, there is no doubt the last three weeks would have been filled with numerous activities and uh, uncertainties. Nevertheless, your receptiveness and endurance to ensure we collectively achieve the goal of this project is commendable and a confirmation that we are all determined to change the face of education in the United States. This occasion is not just a mere closing ceremony, it is a testament of our administration's resolve and commitment towards education and the confirmation of the unwavering education and cooperation of our teachers to ensure we achieve, we achieve our Nishaya mantra. Governor Biodo said the Progressive Mathematics Initiative and Progressive Science Initiative, PMI PSI, would positively impact the lives of both teachers and students. He added that the PMI PSI approach holds great potential for solution to the present and future global challenges. No doubt, STEM and the PMI PSI has, has a great potential to transform and improve the lives to, uh, of our people while it ensures environmental sustainability, it also provides basis for new approaches and solutions to current and future global reforms. This is the main motivation propelling our administration to intensify efforts in overhauling the state's education and skills development system, specifically to increase access to skills training, enhance quality and market relevance of skills program and improve science, technology, engineering, and mathematics STEM teaching in our schools. Throughout the period of this training, we have witnessed the spirit of professional growth and the commitment to excellence that defines each and every one of you. Your presence here is a reflection of your passion for molding the young minds, nurturing the seeds of knowledge and shaping the future of our society. This workshop has been a journey of exploration and discovery. We are educators from diverse backgrounds, came together to share experiences, learn from one another, 
and embrace those problems and approaches. Prince Abiodi noted that the STEM intervention has been yielding results as students from Ogun State have been making the state proud at various science competitions. Our administration recognizes this that for any nation to survive, the education sector must be fortified. As such, we have continued to dedicate and demonstrate our commitment to successful implementation of the Building Our Future Together agenda, recognizing the significance of a strong education system as cornerstone of progress which empowers individuals, breaks down barriers, and paves the way for a more equitable society. Let me underscore the fact that our intervention in education, particularly STEM, STEM education, has been yielding outstanding results. So let us know the outcome of your collective unrelenting effort have been making the state proud in various competitions. In the last two editions of JES competition, for instance, uh, Ogun State returned victorious with 18 trophies from each of the competitions. Beyond the total trophies won, ladders from Ogun State emerged overall best in both competitions. <laughs> we have also embarked on revitalization of the government science, technical, and vocational colleges to produce youth with adequate skills and industry relevant experiences. The Governor charged teachers and stakeholders to be up and doing to change the narrative of STEM teaching and learning in the state. I want to charge all state classroom teachers and educational stakeholders in attendance to rise up to the equivalent task ahead in order to change the narrative of STEM teaching and learning in the state, as well as fill the lacuna created in the skills needed industry and professions in our state and beyond. In his address, the Special Advisor on Education Science and Technology, Professor Abayomi Aribabu, said the intention of the initiative was to approach various subjects in a manner that would help develop human capacity to enhance economic prosperity of the state. I'm very happy that I participated in this project and I'm sure that you have benefited maximally from this project. Uh, we have all graduates of various subjects. But you see, it is one thing to go to the university, get a degree, but it's another thing to develop yourself to the extent that the trauma you had studying those subjects while you were in school, you will not take other people through those traumatic experiences. You know, now people will now be learning with a hard, oh, you know. So it's this simple. Even now as teachers, there are still some concepts that give you um, challenge when you are in class. You, you know, at times you want to skip that topic if you have your way. You know, you see some teachers, let me get to a particular topic, you just do it quickly within one or two hours to leave. When they get to topics that they are comfortable, they are ready to spend the next two or three days on that topic. They will never leave that topic. You know, that is their area. So but now there yeah, is this eye-opening uh, sort of thing. I want to say that you see the connections, interconnections, and novelty in this initiative that we have introduced. You will see how you can use this initiative to make things that ordinary students will run away from to make them very easy, very simple. Professor Aribabu noted that plans are on the way to equip teachers with laptops and other facilities in order for them to cascade the knowledge acquired during the training. For me, introducing this type of technology, I know there is no way to be successful if there are no, no laptops and there are no... Second phase 
is far more interesting than the first one. In every aspect. Every aspect. So, that is to tell you that even when the project was conceived, we had all this. If it was not part of the project, there is no way we would do it. But the point is that as human beings, problems will come and then we have to solve them. Look at us. The time we started planning about this project, I don't think a laptop was even uh, up to 150,000 naira. Today, the, the minimum configuration sort of laptop you use for this project for it to work will not be less than 350,000 naira. So you can imagine what is this. probably money that you have used to buy about three laptops or four laptops is what we will use for one. Then we are not going to just uh, give up and say what we do. We started thinking of how we will go around and go about this. In his remark, the special advisor to the governor on budget and planning, Mr. Olaolu Olabinto, regarded the initiative as a vital tool for the economic transformation of the state. The reason we are a poor nation is that we are focused for too long on the humanities. You know, for me, what is really critical for me is for us to understand why this is important and for us to know where we are going. The reason we are a poor nation, I will tell you, is because we didn't know sciences. So we will farm and we will produce cocoa and we will export it at the very lowest point on the value chain, raw cocoa. So we'll probably sell it for $10 or something for it. Have you? Then you know we all have sweet tooth of one at the Then we will buy imported chocolates at the highest end of the value chain. Maybe you now buy it. That thing is sold at $10. You now go and buy it at $500. That's why we are poor. Because we do not know technology. We do not know science. So we are not adding value. Where we are going to is the economic transformation of Ogo State. That's why we are doing this thing. That's why we are doing this science and this mathematics. You are the key to the economic transformation of Ogo State. The Permanent Secretary, Minister of Education, Science and Technology, Mrs. Abosede Ogunleye, in her opening remark, said the purpose of the training was to bring out the best in the teachers and students. I discovered that productivity improvement in any organization is a function of capacity building, training of officers. If you didn't impart on them, they will be able to bring out the best. And that which the Ogo State government has been able to do for us, I am very sure that all of us together, what we have received so far from our facilitators on PSI, PMI, I am very sure that when we get back to our various schools, we will percolate it down and let it have, let it germinate and have good results. It is the good results that all of us at our head are waiting for. And I want to believe that very soon the good results will come to place. Also speaking, the project coordinator, Mrs. Musumola Owodusi, described the initiative as a way of equipping teachers with the skills needed to make science subjects more interesting for students. The next step after all this learning is for them to go back to the schools and we put this into practice. And um, some have already done, that they started, and some will continue. Not only that, they are also going to be the team that are going to train the other teachers who are not here. Remember, this is just a portion, a sample size of all the STEM teachers across the whole state. Just try to cut up with one of the facilitators, and he has this to say. I'm delighted to be part of this project because it's a wonderful step towards sustainable development in um, state. 
I particularly want to appreciate the state government for, you know, for accepting this project and of course ensuring that it was implemented to the latter in Ogun State, you know, thereby contributing to the Ogun State Economic Transformation Plan of this particular government, of um, the Honorable Governor Prince Dabo Abiodun. And um, I am sure, I am convinced beyond every reasonable doubt that this project will bring about total transformation in the education landscape in this state. And you know, already the state is doing well when it comes to education, but the teachers right now will be, will be lifted up to the best um, level. You know, especially the science teachers whom we have trained. Um, and um, I'm very sure that this this is a good one for the state. It's a good step for development in the state. And um, I just want to encourage every other enablers of education in this state to now join hand together with the state government to see that this training that has been done and conducted for the for the teachers. You know, is being implemented in the schools. You know, um, I mean, to this, I mean, every financial support that they will need, every material support, the gadget that will be needed to implement the progressive science initiative and the progressive math initiative, you know, which we have deployed in the state, you know, is carried out effectively. I took the biology class, for instance, and I have full confidence in the cooperation which we have already established with them. We have also established a community of practice right now in the state where we communicate with these teachers you know even after the project to, to see that what we have trained them on, you know, is being carried out, is being implemented in their schools. Some participants were back on to give their feedback on the training program. We really enjoyed this program. When we came in December, it was the starting point. And coming for the second phase, it was really great. I gave it to the facilitator. They took their time to explain so many things to us. Everything we are being taught here is as if we are taking to advanced level. And uh, the system being employed this time around, the social constructivity system, even we ourselves using it, have seen a total different way of impacting lives, which is quite different from the former system that we are used to. And sincerely, if we continue in this term, we believe our students in our schools will start showing different attitude, different commitment, and even interest to want to be part of learning. Because what we are carrying back home now, we are going back home as newly branded teacher. I want to appreciate the management of the Ministry of Education, Science and Technology for giving us the opportunity to be a partaker of that three weeks training. The facilitators have really done so wonderful. They have turned around their main teaching and learning of very, very interesting. In the class that I belong to, chemistry, the likes of Professor Owoyemi from the Department of Science Education, Unibar, the likes of uh, Mr. Amin from Gambia, I want to appreciate you for all that you have done. They did so well. They made teaching and learning of this term, particularly chemistry, they made it look simple to the teachers. With the conclusion of the STEM training, it is obvious that education in Ogun State will not remain the same, as the knowledge gained by participants would aid their teaching ability, and students in turn would have better understanding.